Hi, I'm Rachel Williams, Chief Editor of Pool & Spa Professional. I'm here with Mike Farley of Clafe Pools at the PSP Deck Expo. Um, Mike, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you. I guess we're here this morning. We're not Great. Here. I want to start off by asking you, what trends are you seeing in pool design right now? Well, the outdoor living experience is huge. Uh, so with COVID, everybody wants to be outside, so they want more and more activities. Uh, to, so it's more than just the pool. It's the pool, it's the outdoor kitchen, it's outdoor dining, it's an outdoor living room. Uh, we want to do outdoor activities, so a lot of games. I mean, you have people asking for bocce ball and cornhole. And, you know, so it's just an experience that people want to view the outdoor space. It's just another home. It, we used to say it was another room. Well, now they want multiple rooms out there. We want to go hang out by the fireplace or the fire pit. We want to go cook out Thanks, there. Bob. We want to I have a living room out there. Uh, we want to do everything we can inside. We want to do it outside. And if we've got teenagers, we want to send them out there 24/7 uh, and have them, you know, even sleep out there. They want their hammock. You know, they want everything. So it's kind of cool because everything that's in an indoor experience now we're putting outside. And then I also want to know. Uh, Design professionals are dealing with an overwhelming demand right now. Just <laughs> what advice do you have for them for navigating that? Okay, first thing is you have to say no. Okay, and, and that was hard for me in the beginning because you know you always are looking for more and more work. You know, the more I can get, the more I can sell. And what you have to realize is at this point there's so much abundance of work out there. You need to understand what your niche is. Okay, and if you do what's in your niche, then you're going to perform it really well. And if they're not in your niche, refer them to somebody else. Okay, whether it's gee, I don't do projects that are this complex. I'm going to refer it to this person or I don't want to do projects that are this simple, I'm going to refer to this person, or I don't want to travel. Uh, you, know, you know, I ran into a friend of mine, he doesn't deal with outside of five miles from his house, okay? It's really nice that he can be in Frisco, Texas and do all of his work, but you know, some people it's like, I don't want to travel, you know, you have to know what your limit is and say no. So that's the first thing is, if you learn to say no to the things that don't fit you as well, you know, you can perform better. Uh, the second thing is charge a fee. Uh, so, if everybody in the industry is not charging a consultation fee or a design fee, that's one way of saying no and finding out if they're your type of client. Because there's a lot of people that like to wish and dream. And they call pool professionals out because they find out, hey, you'll come out for free and figure out my whole backyard and we can dream about this awesome experience. I mean, what a great thing and you're going to do it for free. Uh, well, that's a lot of waste of time when you're going to put 20 to 30 to 40 hours into a project, you need to know that they're serious about construction. If you charge some form of fee, and it can even be small, it can be 50 or $75 a consultation fee. The ones that are like, well, I just want to dream about it. I want to spend $50. Okay, well, they're, they're really not so going to do anything. So you put your time more productively where the people are going to be more effective that you can serve. And the whole thing is we want to serve people, but we want to serve the right ones. So that's one way to do it. So another way that you're serving the audience is you have a YouTube series focused on pool consumer education. What drove you to create this series and you know how, what kind of benefit has it provided? We've been doing it for a long time. If you go back and look at the old videos, they were, they were kind of scary. But it was started because I went to the pool show and there was a class we were in and the guy said, the clients don't understand the jargon that we use in the pool industry. And so, if you can explain things to them, it's helpful. And if you can show them and give them ideas, it's helpful. And so, we started, actually my wife made me do it, because I was like, we were on a photo shoot, and she was like, you need to explain that. And I'm like, everybody knows what that is. And she was like, no, they, they say people don't know things, so you need to explain what that is. And I was like, that's silly. She's like, get down there and explain it. I'm like, okay, okay. So I got down and she filmed me, and what is a skimmer? Now has seventy five thousand views on. It. Okay, so yes, people don't always listen to your wife. Yes, well, that's a, that's the most important thing. But what we ended up doing is we started to give people ideas about different solutions and different products, and so it was just more information. So every time we do a photo shoot, we're like, okay, what did we do in this project that's different? And so we do a video on it. We put it on YouTube, and what we found is that. A lot of people all over the country, actually we've had calls internationally that have come in from the YouTube channel. 
because people see stuff and they're like, nobody can explain to me how to build this. And you know, I'm a contractor. Can you tell me where to find? You know, one of the most popular ones is they want to know where to get a rainfall because it's they're like, I can't find it, and nobody, you know, so they want to know where to find that. Now I saw it on your video, so it's just. A, the more information you can give people, the easier it is for them to make decisions. Okay, the easier it is for them to make decisions, then the quicker they're gonna do something. So we, we wanna help people through the process and give them inspiration and give them knowledge. So whether they're dealing with me or they're dealing with somebody else, it helps the industry uh, because the profession, the, the, the clients are more informed about what, what they can do. Uh, it's been a good thing for me too because I've had clients I show up on the door and I'm like wow you're like a celebrity because we saw you on our YouTube you know on our TV and you know now uh, I mean when I went to that talk he said people will seriously show up and hug you at the front door that you've never met and I was like that's stupid uh, and, but it, it really happens people are like thrilled that you're there to help them solve their problems and that's what we're all about is serving people and helping them solve their problems. Well, thanks for sharing that with us, Certainly. and have a great show. Oh, we're gonna. It's a lot of fun. You too.